Las Vegas is no longer the foreclosure capital of the country, according to Reality Track, the company that publishes the largest database of foreclosure, auction, and bank owned homes in the country. Since Assembly Bill AB 94 passed in May of 2011, which required mortgage holders to submit all documentation for a property before the foreclosure process began, the notice of defaults went from 300 to 400 a month that were being filed to three or four a month. The Nevada Supreme Court says Clark County's process for reviewing officer-involved deaths is unconstitutional. The justices say in a ruling issued today that the so-called coroner's inquest procedure doesn't infringe on appealing parties' due process rights. But they take issue that justices of the peace may be in the presiding officer in the inquest. Justices note that the legislature has the exclusive constitutional authority to determine the jurisdiction of the justice of the peace. They say that because Clark County's code doesn't allow for anyone but a justice of the peace to serve as a presiding officer, the code is intruding on the legislature's authority. The coroner's inquest process has been on hold since 2010 amid legal challenges. Challenges. The Hoover Project Power Allocation Act of 2011 creates a new opportunity for more Nevada entities to obtain low-cost renewable power from Hoover Dam. Currently, Southern Nevada benefits significantly from power resources generated at Hoover Dam. Only twice in the past 75 years have new allocations of Hoover Power been authorized by Congress. New contracts for Hoover Power will be for a 50-year term beginning 2017. The Colorado River Commission on Nevada has announced a workshop to be held on October 30th at 2 p.m. at the Grant Sawyer State Office Building, Room 4412 in Las Vegas, to further discuss potential opportunities to obtain this resource. To register for this workshop and to obtain more information, please go to their website at crchooverallocation.com. Nevada Job Connect was recently honored by the Economic Development Authority of Western Nevada with the Community Partner Award for its effort in supporting economic development initiatives in the greater Reno Sparks Tahoe area. Companies found to have stellar expansion, corporate citizenship, environmental awareness, and commitment to thinking local were honored by the business community and government officials at the inaugural Greater Reno Sparks Tahoe Industry Awards Party. The reception for the existing industry awards were founded to thank, celebrate, and recognize the success and accomplishments of many outstanding companies that drive the growth and diversification of the economic future of the greater Reno Sparks Tahoe region. I'm Deanne O'Donnell. That's your news across Nevada.